Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 10th. Uh, we are going to jump right in here, and we are going to take a look at your current general energies in this first row. In your second row, we're going to look at where you are most lucky this week. And in your last row, we're going to look at uh, where you can move mountains in your life. So um, if I did a kind of special spread as a bonus, and it was a moving mountains reading, uh, I will explain that spread once we get to it at the end, uh, Aquarius, but uh, this will be, it looks good. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that much. Uh, we're also going to pull three yes or no question cards at the end, um, and I will give you time to answer those questions. I'll also be putting all three cards together as one if you don't have any questions. Covering all my bases today, Aquarius. And also, uh, we're using the Tarot of the Mystical Moments as well. Uh, in your current general energies, uh, you have the Spider Spirit. It says, make your dreams real. And you have the Scare Beetle. Both these cards want to come out together. And it says, magic works through you. So, damn. Aquarius. This looks really good. Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, Eight of Wands. It's like quick su success or you accomplishing something or receiving or getting something that you truly desire to have in your life. Judgment card is like a wake-up call. I do feel that you could be having a little bit of a wake-up call. I, I, I just, this isn't really a warning, uh, but I would just say this is something to pay attention to. I feel like you could be worried in this middle row here, uh, this for this horizontal row, uh, judgment, six of pentacles, three of wands. I'm getting something about worries or worrying that you have run out of time. I feel like for some of you, you feel like, oh crap, I ran out of time, or oh my god, you know, I, I don't have time to do something anymore. We're gonna have to, we're gonna clarify through and see what this thing is, but. What I would say to you is you haven't run out of time. So, you know, let go of your fears, let go of your worries, especially if you feel that you've run out of time or you don't have time to do something or if you feel like you missed out on something. I don't think you did. But again, it is popping to my head that you feel like you, you, um, you know, missed out on something. Could be like a relationship with a person, could be anything. But I, I really don't think you did miss out. I, and again, the reason I'm telling you this is because I feel like if you, um, if you have that feeling like you're you missed out on something, it's almost like you're going to give up on it. So I feel like there's something you shouldn't give up on, and and the thing that you shouldn't give up on is the thing that you think you missed out on. <laughs> Does that, that was crazy? But I hope that makes sense, Aquarius. I feel like you're really creating your own reality at this time. I mean, like it could be a very magical time for you here with these cards. You have the Ten of Pentacles, Judgment card, and the Eight of Wands. Uh, definitely, I feel you are receiving messages here. The Ten of Pentacles can represent a message or information coming from an unlikely source. Uh, there's two ways to read the Ten of Pentacles. It, it's part of inheritance. You know, normally the old man on the deck, he is meant to represent like an inheritance or kind of like, um, uh, you know, something like a legacy, leaving a legacy, something long term, something old, right? Uh, but we could also look at this as uh, that old man being a beggar. Uh, there is a way to read tarot where, um, you know, basically the old man represents a beggar who is coming to give a family a gift. He represents, um, you know, someone who has nothing to give, giving something to, you know, this family. So what does that mean for you? It can represent information or news coming from an unlikely source. And uh, this information or news will lead to success, will lead to the Ten of Pentacles. So the reason I'm saying this is because you also have the Judgment card and the Eight of Wands. There's something you're going, there's like a message or news coming in that you're going to have to pay very close attention to. You're going to feel it, though, with that Judgment card. So for those of you, you know, you could be getting a clue. Like, I feel like saying, like, re I feel like going like this <laughs> here, Air uh, Aquarius, like, kind of with my hands. And it's almost like, but I feel like it's saying, like, between the lines. There's going to be an opportunity for some of you where it's kind of like there, the information is between the lines. And I feel like you need to pay attention to that. This could be like a worker business. It's like maybe you're picking up something that someone is putting down, but maybe they're not being very direct. Like maybe your boss is like, oh, we're kind of looking for someone to take an opportunity to take this raise or promotion. And that's your opportunity to say, hey, I'll do it. Right. So I feel like you need to like really kind of pay attention this week. It's going to be very important that you do. And I feel like it's going to be very important that you also pay attention to things that aren't being said. I mean, you could be, I feel like you could be noticing a lot this week. And um, I, I feel like you need to tell yourself that you're not crazy because I feel like you could be saying to yourself, oh, I'm crazy, <laughs> but you're not. It's like, I feel like whatever you're feeling is true is what this is saying. It's like maybe someone gets fired at work and maybe you're like, hey, I should go tell my boss that I want this job. And I feel like you should is what this is saying. Or it's like maybe someone looks at you weird or something in the cafeteria at work. And maybe you're like, hey, that person's interested in me. I feel like they are. It's like you are not, uh, this first row is really saying you are not imagining things. The, 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 this is real. So let's look into this 
here, Aquarius. You have the Four Swords, Recovery, Going Through Recovery. It's like you're receiving blessings. Ace of Wands. This is a really good reading, Aquarius. Uh, very passionate new beginning in the Knight of Pentacles. A lot of success. I feel like you're really putting in the work to be successful as well. I feel like you, again, I feel like that Knight of Pentacles is kind of like a warning against being too cautious, against uh, taking your time too much. So I would like move towards anything. Eight of Wands is a very quick conclusion, and it's also kind of like running straight for something. So I would just go for anything, any new beginning you're trying to create. I would just go for it uh, with this energy. This is looking really good here, Aquarius. I like this a lot for sure. Uh, in your next row here for where you are most lucky, you have the Chaos and Conflict card. I do feel for some of you that you could be very lucky in a very chaotic situation. It's like, again, maybe you're taking advantage of a situation at work where someone's getting fired. That is the chaos or the conflict that is being created. But there could be an opportunity in that for you. It's like you could be getting a job or a business in that in, in that um, because of that. Uh, same thing with like love as well. It's like you could be, uh, I don't think you're taking advantage of something, uh, but I feel like there could be kind of like a little bit of a chaotic situation and maybe it allows you to bring love into your life or um, maybe you're moving which is a chaotic situation and maybe the move is what brings love into your life so uh, that's what i would say there you have the lovers the six of pentacles and the two wands here you're definitely i feel going to be most successful in making a change pretty much every single sign has had this message this week in the area of where you are most lucky uh, two wands like um, going from where you've been to going somewhere new she has a whole world in her hands on this card but the two wands is about leaving a comfort zone on a traditional two wands, as I always say, there's like a village down in the bottom corner, and it kind of represents leaving a comfort zone, going from one place to another. So if you could make some sort of change here, Aquarius, you are going to be very successful. Uh, even the Lovers is a card of kind of, um, you know, being at a crossroads, making a change in your life. So anything new that you could do would be very lucky for you. Uh, the Six of Pentacles, I feel, is just talking about the work that you're going to be putting into something new. Six of Pentacles is just a card of planting seeds. So I feel like it's just saying you're putting work into something new and that is where the luck is for you. I feel like there's like long-term love success coming in for you here. Ten of Pentacles, lovers, Ten of Cups. Like, are you kidding me here, Aquarius? This is like a long-term connection or a long-term relationship coming in for you. But let's see where this uh, lucky row is going for you here, Aquarius. Uh, you have the uh, High Priestess. Trust your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you at this time. Two of Cups here. I uh, definitely love. <laughs> I like this. And the Nine of Wands. Uh, like I said, for some of you, I was saying this at the beginning, where it's almost like you feel like you missed out on love, or you feel like you maybe you feel like you missed out on a person. I feel like that could not be further from the truth. I feel like you, I wouldn't really call this a second chance for you, Aquarius, but I just feel like something is like things are falling into place uh, is really what I feel like saying here. So if you feel like you missed out on a person, or if you feel like you missed out on love in general, I feel like that's not true. I feel like things are falling into place and that's where you are lucky this week. It's almost like luck is outside of your control because um, I feel like the universe is almost kind of like creating this luck for you in this middle row or it's like, you know, you're just experiencing almost like serendipity, you know, those like serendipitous moments, those lucky moments in your life. The high priestess also says that they're like, I feel like you need to pay attention to things that are entering into your awareness. Like I was saying here, it's like you need to read between the lines in this first row. And I feel like there could be, you know, things that are entering into your awareness, like ideas, or you could be uh, picking up on subtle signs and clues that people are dropping. I feel like you need to pick up what people are putting down here, Aquarius, in this row. Uh, next, in the area of where you can move mountains, uh, mountains can be goals, wishes, dreams, obstacles, pretty much anything that you're trying to achieve, anything that's a wish, or any obstacles you're trying to remove from your life. Uh, one of my favorite people of all time, Greg Braden, says when your head and your heart become one, you can move mountains. So we're going to look at your head, your heart, and how you can bring those two things together so you can move mountains. Uh, overall, you have the Ten of Swords. So I feel like some of you are hoping for a new beginning. Ten of Swords says you realize that your past life is dead, done, over with, and you're like ready to move on to this right here. You are ready to move on to your happiness. Again, this is coming up in the area of your head. The Ten of Cups is fortune after difficulty, happiness, but I feel like your head sees something as total fulfillment. This could be a relationship. It could be a business idea. It could be a job or something you want to accomplish. But whatever it is for you, Aquarius, it's like you see something as totally fulfilling, as something that will bring you a lot of happiness and joy. And, and I also feel like this card is saying, you're right. It will. Whatever this thing is, <laughs> it will bring you a lot of happiness. It will bring you a lot of joy. And so you see something 
as your true happiness or your true, um, you know, the, the thing for you in your life. Uh, as far as your heart is concerned, I feel that for some of you, your heart could feel like it's missing out or that um, you didn't move fast enough on something. Because again, the three of wands like waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment. And just intuitively, like I was saying at the beginning of the reading, I feel like your heart energy here is the thing that is kind of feeling like it missed out or your heart is feeling that maybe it was too cautious with the the Knight of Pentacles over here. And so I feel like your heart kind of is like kind of waiting for something to happen again. And I like I feel like saying that you didn't miss out, but I would also like take action towards something that you don't want to miss out on here with that three of wands. Uh, putting the two together, you have the four of swords. Um, part of me feels that this is saying that the universe is kind of bringing you blessings. Normally on a four of swords, there's a stained glass window in this top corner, and there's a person who is being blessed in that uh, in the top of the window, in, or in the stained glass window up here. So part of me feels like the universe is kind of bringing you blessings. Uh, I, I want to dig into this to, to see um, also, you know, I want to get some more details on that, Aquarius. So let's see. You have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, your head knows exactly what it wants. I mean, the Queen, you know, in the area of your head, it's like your head know you know exactly what you want. The Queen of Swords is very clear, very focused. She knows exactly what she wants in life, and she's ready to receive. You, in the area of your heart, here's your second chance, Judgment. Judgment is the only card in the deck that I consider an ex coming back. I don't think this is an ex coming back, but what I am saying is that I feel that you're getting a second chance. It could be in love uh, here, but I just feel that it's like you're getting a second chance. You're, you're going through a rebirth here. And again, judgment is kind of like my second chance card. So I do feel that you're getting a second chance at something that you feel like you missed out on. Exactly what I was saying. And, and, and really, I feel like that's what this whole reading boils down to is like you're getting a second chance to live something that you think will bring you total happiness. Three of cups as well. Three of cups says allow people to help you. I would say like 50% of the signs this week have had this message of needing to allow people to help you. It's, it, it's just kind of saying teamwork makes a dream work. So whatever it is, whatever mountain you're trying to move, and again, this could be something you're trying to accomplish or it could be an obstacle that you're trying to overcome, uh, people want to help you. That judgment card is, again, your, the second chance here. I want to get more information on like um, how is this second chance going to play out in your life, Aquarius? Uh, chariot, uh, I feel like you're just going to take control, number one. I mean, the chariot kind of says that you're, you want want something so bad in your life that you're just going to take control and make it happen, really. So it could be anything that you desire to have. And it's like, you're just going to make it happen there. Really determined energy. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. I mean, exactly. Like, like I said, I feel like you you just are, you just want something in your life. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, people always get mad at me, right? Every single video I do. Doesn't, it doesn't matter what I say. So I don't really care, Aquarius. But what I'm saying is people always get mad. Like, how dare you want something, right? I, I don't know where this like spiritual belief it came from. Like we're not supposed to have things or we're not supposed to do things. We are here on earth to create our own reality. So, I mean, this is, I, you know, I have a lot of bones to pick with the new age movement. And, um, you know, I, I think the new age is toxic in the first place. Um, mostly because again, one of the, one of the um, kind of beliefs is like uh, anti-materialism. I don't think we should be overly materialistic. I think everything in balance, right? But at the same time, we are here to create our own reality. If you want 10 Ferraris, then you better freaking create those 10 Ferraris the best way you possibly can. Um, you know, to me, th that is the spiritual lesson. That's why we're here. We're here to just create. We're here to manifest. And that's it. People put too much power on money. People put too much power on, you know, materialism and, and things like that as well, or material goods. And, uh, you know, I feel like this is saying, if you want something, go for it, make it happen, and, but do it in the best way possible, right? And that's what the Eight of Pentacles is really saying here, Aquarius. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, damn. Aquarius, this is a powerful reading. This is a really good reading. I feel like you're going to be manifesting or having something uh, that you truly desire here, but it's like you need to take control with that chariot and you need to make it happen just in general. You have the uh, Empress, total abundance, moving towards total abundance there. Queen of Wands, yep. Queen of Wands is a wholehearted energy. It is putting everything you got into something to make it happen. And the Four of Pentacles, I feel like the Four of Pentacles is something you hold close to your chest or you, you hold close to your heart, something you truly want to like manifest in your life. And that's what you're going to be manifesting here, Aquarius. Love it. Uh, so we are going to do uh, three yes or no question cards now. Uh, we're going to do uh, one, two, 
and three here, Aquarius. Uh, as I've been saying to the other signs, no life or death questions here, please. Uh, this is for entertainment purposes only, so take this with a grain of salt. Cards do not control your life, right? So even if you get a yes, you could easily turn it into a no. If you get a no, you could easily turn it into a yes, right? For question number one, you have the strength card. I would say yes. I feel like you've been waiting for this. This is something you've been waiting for, <laughs> so yes. Uh, for question number two, I would say yes. Again, uh, I feel like the same question right here, Aquarius. So I would say yes, but something you've been waiting for. And for question number three, yes, page of cups. Uh, good news. Uh, putting this all together, I feel like you're receiving something you've been waiting for, whatever it is that you can't ignore. Again, there's like something you can't ignore. I've been getting messages like this for you for a while, Aquarius, where there's like something that you can't ignore. There's something that's just too good. There's something that's like too sweet for you in your life. And it's like something that you really want to create. It could be like a really positive relationship, right? And it's just too good to ignore. It's like something that you just have to have. And um, yeah, I feel like you've been patient. The temperance card really says you're putting in the work to make the changes to manifest this thing in your life because temperance is like pouring, turning water into wine and you have this spider spirit as well. I mean, this card literally says, make your dreams real. And this whole entire reading is saying, you are taking control to make your dreams a reality. It doesn't matter what your dreams are. And uh, the Page of Cups, I feel, Page of Cups is imagining the fish in the cup right here, Aquarius. So it's like, you're getting something you've been imagining. Love it. This is a good reading, Aquarius. Pretty simple, but I like it. So thank you for being here, Aquarius. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Uh, also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Aquarius, and definitely enjoy your week.